Long story short, I kind of broke my controller. <laughs> and I can't really go outside to buy a new one because uh, duh, I'd have to go outside and we don't do that here. So I'm just gonna make my own controller instead with a banana. So how exactly do we make a controller? Come on! So we can use something called microcontrollers, which are just compact integrated circuits designed to govern a specific operation in an embedded system. Now, I don't know what any of that means. So before purchasing anything, I need to do some more research and learn about microcontrollers. It's what I would say if I was a goddamn nerd. Which I'm clearly not. Huh. So my Arduino kit has been ordered and should arrive in a few days. Anyway, remember how I said I broke my controller? Yeah, I kind of broke my computer too. <laughs> <laughs> And so I lost all of my games since the computer broke, uh, and games are in the computer, so now I have to make my own game, because uh, I... Uh, <laughs> Fortunately though, I've made many games before, and I'm currently working on a game called Carlson, which you can wish us on Steam by the way, it's like currently the 20th most wishes game on Steam, so smash wishes now, gamers! Today we are making a car game. So I made a new Unity project and added Q, which will be our car. And I started off by coding some suspension, which can be done using Hook's Law. Now, now, what is Hooke's law, I hear you ask? I, I don't know, it's, it's just a bunch of letters, negative KX. The point is, it gives our car a functional suspension system, which is kind of sick. And by simply adding some wheels, we suddenly have a car. And finally, by adding some simple movement, we can now drive around. But it's extremely slippery, since we don't have any friction. We can fix this though, by simulating the friction force in the lateral direction of the wheel. And it now works like a charm. As long as you don't go too fast, yeah, don't do that. So instead of flipping over, the car should just drift. Now, this can be done pretty easily by just adding some arcade gameplay. But if you know me, you know I like physics, and physics make me go yes. So I want to simulate every single wheel realistically, which it should be pretty easy to do, right? So that was fucking stupid. It turns out drifting and wheel physics are just a little bit more complicated than I first thought. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. Like a lot a lot. Like your mama size a lot, and that's pretty big. Finding information about it is near impossible, and at one point, get this, I even checked the second page of my Google search. Yeah, I was desperate. But that's where I found it, a paper on car and wheel physics for games by Marco Monster. Oh Marco, you delicious son of a bitch. <laughs> this will definitely come in handy, as I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. Literally. <laughs> and after weeks of work, a little bit of dying inside, and 5,000 Google searches later, we finally have a good vehicle controller with simulated wheel physics. Now let's make everything look better. So first I found a skid market library by Noidian Bill B, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, borrow some of that code. Then I made some particles using Unity's particle system, a great system for making all sorts of particles in Unity. And after that, I decided to make some more particles using Unity's particle system. And I also need a new car model, because the current one looks like a piece of shit. And I found just a car for the job, so I'ma just go ahead and uh, borrow this model as well. Yoink! Check out Lexi on Sketchfab, he has a ton of cool and free car models, so that's pretty pog. And finally we need some car sounds. Now I could just find some sound effects on the internet which would be fast and convenient, or I, I could theoretically make it myself, but that would be dumb. And I just so happen to be pretty dumb. <laughs> That's how you make car sound effects like a professional. Or probably not, they probably just use cars, but 
Uh, anyway, we can't make a drifting game without Eurobeats. That, that's like a hot dog without ketchup. It's, it's like programming without being a depressed piece of shit. <laughs> oh, f So I hit up my boy Evan King and I was like... Hey, Evan! Shop, shop, shop! <laughs> it's music time! <laughs> oh, come on, Danny, please, man, I can't do this Alright, thanks, no, Evan. Very cool. And he whipped up a really sick Eurobeat track for the game. Go listen to it on his channel. Thanks, big man Evan. Very cool. All right, so I got my arena set. We're ready to go. There's just there's just one tiny problem. I'm dumb and I don't know anything about electronics. I, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Let's start off by making some buttons work. We need resistors for this, which are color coded. Uh, however, they all look the same to me because I'm colorblind. Alrighty, let's try out this bad boy by plugging it into my computer. What could possibly go wrong? I'm. Don't worry, my house didn't actually blow up. That was just a uh, visual effect. <laughs> anyway, now we just download and install the Arduino software, write some code, which I, I totally did myself, by the way, hook it up to Unity, and we can now drive the car using the buttons. But here's the thing, buttons are not banana. Uh, well, be because they're buttons, and yeah, that's, that's not a banana. So, however, to make my banana controller, I need to order a Bluetooth module as well as an accelerometer. Now, they should be here in a few days. So, while we wait, let's make some maps for the game. And fortunately, I have some experience making maps from my game Carlson. Now, Carlson is just a little game I'm working on. I just can't leave it 20 of those So, first we make a path for the road, which is totally randomly generated. No pee pee here. <laughs> then we use an array and path modifier to create a road along the path. Add a plane with a shrink wrap modifier to shape the terrain along the road, and finally add some details. And just like that we've made a pretty cool desert map, if I may say so myself. And by placing some trees and rocks and more details around the map, we can make it come to life and look a bit better. I also made a forest map using the same method. So, you know how I placed every single detail on the desert map by hand? Yeah, fuck that. Introducing Blender Particle System from the creators of Unity Particle System. A great system for adding particles to your terrain in Blender with just a couple of clicks and you can make just about it. Now you might think that I added some fancy ass ray tracing RTX on lighting, but no. <laughs> it's literally just a giant sphere, but I added some glow to it though. Well, I guess technically that's what the sun is. It's, it's just a giant sphere. Well, I like your mom. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my components arrived, so first I melted some springy metal stuff, I've no idea what I'm doing, please send help. Then I got the accelerometer hooked up, followed by the Bluetooth component and a battery to make it fully wireless. We can now send information to the computer and use the inputs to control objects. Like, for example, it could hypothetically be used for, uh, say, a car. But currently it's, it's kinda janky and there's wires like <laughs> everywhere, so how can we fix that? And ta-da, it's, uh, it, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, I, I guess we'll just like wrap it up in some cardboard or something. I don't, yeah, cool. I think I'll call it the Danny Box. <laughs> The f***ing daddy box, who wrote this script dude, what the f***? Why am I surprised that this piece of sh is working? I don't know, maybe because it's made out of cardboard and duct tape, bro. <laughs> so as a wise man once said, if it ain't broke, it's working, so that's cool. <laughs> now gamers, tell me, is it just me, or is that daddy box looking kinda THICK? Now there's just, just one tiny little problem, I kinda broke the battery. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna use more duct tape and a power bank. What could, what could possibly go wrong? Look at this dude, <laughs> Iron Man looking ass. What are you doing? What? Is that? <clears throat> now we just hook the Danny box up to anything we want, which is what makes uh, what makes it so great. And there we have the b banana c controller. Just pl plug it into your Iron Man arm and you're good to go. Mom, mom, can we have banana controller? No, we already have it at home. Banana controller at home. <laughs> Clickbait? What's that? I've never heard about it. 
All right, so let's get started. Right off the bat, the control the controls are very uh, good and stable, and it's it's nice and fluid. It's nice to control this thing. As with most controllers, you know, it has its flaws, but generally, son of a <laughs> fuck. All right, nice little drift coming in. One more, okay. Oh my god, very nice. Can we get another one? It's uh, no. No, oh, no, 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 no! Ow! A little 360! A little 360! Ah! Oh! Alright, so that was the Danny Box 3000. Make sure to pick up yours now. Ah! Ow! Yee! So yeah, I would say this was definitely a successful experiment. It could have maybe gone a bit better, but you know what they say. Big shoes, big socks. <laughs> Because, uh, well, anyway, we have a game to finish so y'all can play it. I started off by adding a bunch more cars you have to unlock, all made by Lexi C16. And, uh, uh banana. <laughs> Don't question it. It's, uh, it's actually pretty sick. I, I mean, check out this drift. <laughs> Also Cybertruck, because uh, why not? Please don't sue me, Elon. I, I like your rockets, they're sick, and also space is cool. <laughs> then I made a main menu with settings and game modes, as well as cars, skins, and maps that you can unlock, and some other stuff. I also whipped up a total of like five maps, where the final one is the Akina Downhill for all of my cultured initial D-boys out there. And we also have some enemy cars, which you can race against, but they're kind of uh, dumb. Dumb? Yeah, they're dumb. Still pretty fun to race against them though, so uh, give it a go. And I've also added ghosts you can race against. So basically every map has my ghost on it. So if you want a challenge, you can try and beat the ghost of Danny on every single map. Good luck though, you're probably gonna need it, kiddo. Or not. Actually, probably not. I'm not I'm not very good. And hey, if you can beat my ghost on every single map, you unlock a special skin, which is pretty cool. Anyway, as you may or may not know, I have like five terrible games out for Android. But as they say, all good things are uh, six. Now, when you upload an app, you have to be professional about it and make sure it's suitable for the Google Play Store. Is what a nerd would say. Haha, <laughs> cargo room will soon get and uh, Google accepted it for, for some reason. Fucking room drift skirt boom. Ah, it's so bad. I I love it. Very professional. So uh, yeah, if you want to play the game, there's links down below in the description. It's available for PC, Mac, Linux, and Android, but that's about it. I would also publish it for Apple if Apple didn't make it impossible to publish and also stopped being a piece of shit. Also, I should just mention the game is pretty hard to play and takes a bit of time to get used to. So yeah, only real gamers should play this. That's, that's a warning. Anyway, if you're still watching this, I don't know why you're still watching. I appreciate you a lot though. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash like if you like, smash dislike if you don't. Uh, only a small uh, YouTube statistics according to small percentage uh, subscribed. So uh, smash if, and you can always unsmash later. Make sure you download my game. Also wish this Carlson on Steam. And as always, drink milk, hit Billy and beat your goddamn will.